What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. And I've been getting so many questions about Bo Jackson. Gmaya, should we be raid selling him the dude's garbage? I want to do his mom's. A lot of things are going on that you guys are leaving comments about. Regardless of all that situation, I'm going to talk to you guys right now about, you know, specifically why you should not get rid of him as of right now. Now, if you've already done it, there's nothing you can do about it. You can go back and buy him cheap. We could go check his price in a second. But again, I don't think right now, with the fact that you can get him to 99 speed so easily, that you should just get rid of a running back like that. Now, you can always start Eric Dickinson. A lot of you guys, even my veterans, bro, you guys are like, yo, man, you know, you know he only goes to 97 speed. I can't do Eric Dickinson. You know, I, I got to start Bo. That's why I start him. Because the 97 speed, it's you can see that he's going to get caught from behind, like just visibly by watching him run. Bo Jackson is different, though. When Bo Jackson gets out, you're not catching him. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's very, very obvious that they've made the 99 caps for certain things very, very good. All right. Now, with the trucking, that's a whole nother story because he won't truck a dead end. But when he gets out in front, you're not going to catch him. And he's outrun Deion Sanders like everybody. The dude is just really, really fast. And that's the 99 speed, 99 Excel Deion Sanders that he's outrun a lot. All right, so when you look at it from that aspect, I need you guys to understand a couple things. Number one, you're not getting another running back like this without a lot of upgrades and a lot of, you know, uh, theme team chemistries and all that other stuff. You don't need to do that much of Bo Jackson. And that's probably the reason why they've made him kind of garbage, uh, to be honest. But if you were to sell him right now, we're going to go over the pros and cons, right? And we're going to also look at some of the other running backs that you guys are talking about. Uh, obviously, Eric Dickerson is there. Some of you guys are still running around with Jim Brown. I don't know how you're doing that. Um, you know, some of you guys went to Saquon Barkley with the 96 speed. That's before you go and start adding the other chems. I'm just talking about it in general. Uh, you, you don't want to, you want to get the fastest card without having to do as much work. Okay, Bo Jackson is simple. All right, you get his card, you power him up. The dude goes to 99 speed. He's at 310 right now, whatever. Now, this card right here, you see, this is the situation that everybody needs to understand. EA Sports has created a market crash, but certain cards of lesser overall, their values are a lot higher. My veterans understand the way it works. I'm gonna explain it again so you guys understand. These cards, because they're pretty much outdated, they are gonna be a part of, if you can't find your power-up pass, you're gonna spend the money. I cannot tell you how many of my viewers have made millions of mutt coins by just reselling their old Redux or the original Madden 10 cards when they went down in value tremendously because this is the most current card. And this has been the trend over the last couple of years. The most current cards and the ones that you can make regular inside the store because EA has given us, you know, the different currencies and different ways to create players. It's actually made the market a lot better while it looks like it's crashed because the no money spent players are benefiting because they can play solos, they can grind, they can make up their coins and snag these cards for cheap. And then other people that, you know, have, you know, higher overall teams can kind of manipulate the way they work their teams easily because the, the value of the cards are so cheap. So everybody wins with it. It's just the fact of what are the cards that make the most out of the whole entire power up. And in this case, this card is not readily available like this card is. Plus you got the other sets that are still available with zero chill. There's nothing that can guarantee you these Redux, these 91s, these 92s. So that's generally gonna be a lot more expensive. For those of you guys that have those specific cards, I would recommend, just for me, to go ahead and use your power up passes in place of them and then just go ahead and sell it. You know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and do what you have to do. Make your 350, make your 400 with some of the other power up parts that go into the set with the 91 and 92s. Because once team of the year drops, you don't know which way it's going to go. And I'm going to explain to you again why that is. Sometimes the team of the year cards are so good, you don't need to power them up. We saw that last year. How many of you guys were running around with a team of the year card and did not power them up? I know I was because like, dude, it was crazy. Like it wasn't as easy as it was now to kind of get like portions of your training back and all that stuff. So it was very, very expensive. So what would happen is I would rage sell a card and I wouldn't want to buy it back. Like, I'm like, you know what? I rage sold you. I'm done with you. You know what I'm saying? Go on about your life. I'm going to go about mine. And then what would happen is later on, they would get a card and I'm like, yo, I want that card. And then late, when, when team of the year came out, the cards were so OP, you didn't even need to power them up. But again, with cards that don't reach 99 in certain stats, you're going to want to be able to power them up. The one card, like I've been talking about this regularly, the team of the year, Tyree Kill, they should give him a full 99 speed in white. It should not, recommend, it should not require uh, any power up to get him to 99 speed. Tyree Kill has proven that he's lightning fast. He deserves that 99 speed. 
If that's not the case, which could be a possibility because EA wants you to spend a little bit of cash, you would then need that power up. But if it's a position like middle linebacker and the guy's already at 94 speed, and then you got John Madden coach making him a 95, is it really that necessary for you to power him up? Those are the things that you, gotta, you guys are going to have to get into in a second, but I'm just going based on the fact that I've been getting so many questions about Bo Jackson. Now, if you're going to sell him, Right now, I think that this is going to be his highest price. The only way that this card value will go up is if they remove the exchange sets from out of the set section where you could create the ghost, which I don't think they're going to do. So this card will probably hover around that same price no matter what. Obviously, golden tickets, 99 cards, those are going to be coming a couple months, whatever. It may go up, it may not. But by that time, everybody's just trying to get ready for Madden 21. Nobody's really thinking about, you know, what's going on with this and trying to, yeah, oh, bro, I'm going to start from scratch. Unless... They give you benefits for doing it, like they give us additional power passes or whatever, or we know where our power passes are to make the transgression um, of going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want to go through the whole thing over and over again. And I remember last year they did solos where they gave us extra power passes from every level. If that were to happen, I would tell you guys, yo, let's go ahead and, you know, choose it on this player. Let's choose it on this player. Because they have done that. Will they do it again? I don't know. So, bottom line is, I think. This is my personal opinion. 99 speed on a running back is crazy right now. Not to mention the fact that if you just wanted to put him at wide receiver and just let him go deep, you can also do that as well. Now, he doesn't have any of like the beat press and crazy things like that, all that other good stuff, but he can get out in front. And once he does, it's a wrap. You will get some animations where the guy slides into your DMs and crazy stuff will happen. But overall, I think you'll be fine with what Bo Jackson will bring, all right? If you choose, like you can see, look, you see how his power-ups are still selling for higher amounts? People understand that even though he plays like he's a complete and utter, you know, look, this, some games I just be wanting to raid sell him, bro. Look, I feel your pain. I'm not telling you that it's easy. What I'm saying is, even though he frustrates us a lot, he's still the best option right now. So look, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other running backs that are available to kind of give you guys some insight into why I feel that way about Bo Jackson. Because even with Chris Johnson, getting to a 98 speed without like Titans chem or whatever, he's still not that dude. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's go to the highest overall running backs right now and take a look. Do they have anybody at 96 yet? I don't think so, right? Has anybody been, no, so 95 is the highest. All right, so look, let's see what's available. And remember, with Saquon Barkley, what is he, like a 93 or whatever? He's not really out here doing nothing. Christian McCaffrey's too slow. Amon Green, some of you guys have been saying, yo, I get him to that 99 speed, yo, with that Packers chem. I don't know what chem you guys are using, but whatever. A lot of you guys have been showing me snapshots of him being 99 speed. Again, with the power up, 94, he gets a three, that's 97, all right? Would he be a guy that you could put in and just do whatever you want with? Probably, you know what I'm saying? Okay, if you wanted to do that, but to get 99, you obviously would need, you know, whatever chems of whatever team he played for. I'm just gonna say Packers chem, a lot of you guys are running around with that. So you guys are making him 99 speed. That's great. Is he somebody that I wanna waste my time on with upgrading and doing all this stuff with? Absolutely, 100% not, okay? We look at Christian McCaffrey. All right, 91 speed, 92 with power up, plus three. And when I say plus three, that's with either Sprinter or Brawler, full 30 of 30, and John Madden coach. Sprinter or bra uh, Brawler maxed out with 30 gives you plus two. John Madden coach with the physical chem gives you plus one. Just so you guys know where we are, the power up gives you plus one. So the power up will go 92. Everything else that you should have at this point, John Madden coach and Brawler or Sprinter would give you the other three. 95 speed, that's not gonna cut it. All right, next, Todd Gurley. This dude's garbage. Like, he showed us throughout the year. I don't know. Maybe they weren't running him, uh, you know, running him enough or whatever, but he showed us this year that he's not the same guy that he was a year ago. Bottom line, I'm not, you know, trying to go wild, but the dude's garbage. All right, next thing. What do we got? Armand, yeah, ba -bam, ba -bam, Barry Sanders. We ran around with him. Jim Brown is actually a very, very unique back. Um, 93 plus a 396. He just, bro, that 96 speed, man. Like, 97 is minimum for me. 97 is minimum. I I'm just telling you guys, like, if you don't got that 97 speed running around, right here, chemmed up 97. You want to get him the 99? Bam, go hit him with some, you know, Lions chem. I just don't really see why people would engage with these other cards. Like, Corey Dillon, if you got, you know, Patriot chem or Bengals, whatever it is, whatever you want to do, and you want to go through that, and you can add him to your squad, and he gets those speeds, that's a different story. But if you guys are going to argue with me about me keeping Bo Jackson, and you got these bums running around, there really is no argument. 
Uh, you know, obviously Vita Vey is out of position. He, you only use him if you want to laugh and just watch him be big and, and, and just run around and just do whatever he wants. You know what I'm saying? The dude's at 84 speed. The la like, like 98 trucking, does that really matter? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you remember those other Maddens where, uh, well, like, I think it was like 18, where you could actually truck somebody with high trucking and then stay on your feet and keep going? Most of the time when I truck, even with like Bruiser, the guy trucks and just falls on the ground. So I don't really think that 98 trucking with an 84 speed, right? unless you want to laugh about it or, you know, whatever. Like, I don't think he's that dude. It is what it is. Walter Payton will surprise you. Um, I've played against him several times. The dude moves a lot faster than he looks. I'm just going to let you guys know that right now. Like, he really, I would low key, if I was going to get rid of Dickerson, which I would not do because he starts off with freight train, um, I would absolutely grab this guy. Every time I play against him, not only does he th hold the ball very freakishly, he's just, like, he's extremely fast when he breaks out. Have I caught him from behind? Absolutely. But, again, power up 94 plus 397. You got any other chems? Throw it on him, and then you're going to get him to a 99. But, you know, there's not a lot of vast options that are available right now. Then we get down to Bo. All right? Now, EA gave him everything they needed to give him to make him really be Bo Jackson. Power up 96 plus 399. Dude is a, yo, like, I'm telling you guys right now, if you could just avoid any contact and just get out in the open field, he's going for six. And he's regularly going for six. And that's it. There's nothing else to talk about. There's nothing else he's doing. My man is going for six. That's all. So you guys need to understand, like, all right, look, this is the simplest way that I can explain it. Right now, because of the simple fact, and that's it, there's nothing else that he's doing that makes him really good. The dude is garbage. All right, but again, I gotta keep him on the squad. Like, it sounds weird. You guys be like, yo, you be making fun of me, but I be telling you guys, dudes are garbage, but you can still utilize them. And you be, you guys laugh at me like, yo, what are you talking about? He's garbage. The dude sucks. If you barely touch him, he's falling, falling on the ground, doing a cartwheel. Like the dude's, listen, man, it's stupid. But at the same time, he gets the job done. And that, that's the bottom line. That, I don't know how else to explain it. I don't know, you know, realistically what else to say about it, but that's what he does. That's ultimately what he's able to do. That's ultimately what he's able to accomplish. And that's why I wouldn't raid sell him right now. Again, team of the year, we may have a different thing on our hands. If we can get a running back to 99 speed, Bo Jackson is going to be gone effective immediately. So I need you guys to look out for the team of the year announcements. And, um, you know, obviously once a car comes out with decent stats and everything else that we need, Bo Jackson is out of here. It's as simple as that. It's no other questions to be asked about it, but be patient. I'm telling you right now, you may be able to make a lot more if you hold on to him because of what EA might put in the store, and then we'll figure out if we should quick sell him if he's auctionable for you guys, or um, if he's auctionable for you guys, you could probably sell him, but I would just say quick sell him if we could use him uh, as training inside the store, and then we'll figure out where we want to go after that, all right? But for now, 99 speed, it beats everything else, and it's very, very minimal with the upgrades and the chemistries with the team and everything that you need to use, so I would kind of hold back a little bit. Let me know if you have any other questions or comments. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.